Double Action Stallion here with another episode of Double Action Science. Today, we're going to see if you gain velocity by putting Magnum primers in some standard pistol loads. Guys, if you haven't been reloading a long time, if you don't know what you're doing, kind of stay away from this. This is just this is just for science, for Double Action Science. But you know, as, this should be completely safe. All the loads we have today are well below recommended max load so this should be completely safe but once again if you don't know what you're doing kind of stay away from this i've loaded tens of thousands of hand loads so you know i've been doing it a long time but today we've got 38 specials nine millimeters 44 specials so five loaded with standard pistol primers five loaded with magnum pistol primers and uh, we actually have two sets of 38s because we're going to try a different uh, a couple different barrel lengths on the 38s but Guys, let's show off the guns just real quick here. Just a constant sidekick of mine. Performance Center Smith & Wesson 642. Just a constant companion. Great gun. The other 38, and that's a, that's a 2-inch barrel on that. The other 38, 66-2 Smith & Wesson 357 Magnum. 6-inch barrel on that one. For the 44, the big boy, 629 Classic. This is a 629-4. 5-inch barrel. And then for the 9, we got the wildly popular P365XL. And this has a, I want to say it's a 3.7 inch barrel on this. Yeah, 3.7 inch barrel on the 365. So, guys, we're going to set up the chronograph and, uh, yeah, see what kind of results we get. I'm really curious. I have my suspicions on a few of these. But, uh, yeah, we'll see what we got, guys. So, be right back. All right, guys, we're going to start with some standard primers in the 642. The 38 specials we're using today, they're loaded with universal powder, and they've got a 125 grain berries plated bullet. So my suspicion is, is the Magnum primers are going to make a difference. I'm thinking with the short barrel, maybe it can burn more of that powder faster in the short little two inch barrel on this thing. I could be proven wrong. I'm not sure, but let's see what kind of velocity we're getting out of these real quick. Six eighty one. Six thirty eight. Six fifty two. And six sixty two. Okay, guys, we're going to switch over to the thirty eight specials with the Magnum primers and see what that does. All right, guys, we've got the Magnum primers loaded into some standard. 38 special loads same 125 grain bullet same universal charge not really going to talk about specific charges but matching head stamps essentially the same round just with magnum primers loaded in the back uh, and one thing i did forget to mention though is it's really hot out here today guys so and most of you reloaders know that will affect the burn rate of powders so depending on the results we get today we might have to do a winter edition to this video but let's see if we gain a little velocity with these magnum primers 728 671 673 651 638 all right guys a very slight increase there and i'll put the percentage of increase below or lack thereof right here below and i'll put the average of every five shot string up here in the corner so yeah the very small increase but an increase so let's move on to the six inch barreled model 66 and see if there's any any variance there so okay guys got the 66-2 here same bullets that were in the 642 same head stamp but we're starting of course with the standard pistol primers loaded in these so let's see what kind of velocity we get 633. 832. Must have been a light charge on that first one. 818. 774. 
768. All right, guess I had a light charge on that first one. I'm going to take that out of the average. But, okay, let's put some magnums in here and see what kind of velocity we get out of those. All right, guys. Same 38 specials, but this time with magnum primers. Once again, let's see what kind of velocity we get. Five sixty-three. I don't know what's going on with that. Eight hundred nine. Seven thirty-three. Seven thirty-three again. Okay, got a problem with the chronograph here. All right, guys, had a little problem with the chronograph, but uh, let's let's keep trying. We'll see here. Seven forty. I think that's it. Yeah, seven forty. All right, let's move on to some nine millimeters. All right, guys, moving on to some nine millimeters out of the three six five XL. We've got a hundred twenty four grain Barry's plated bullet with some tight group powder behind it. Tight group is a known fast burning powder, so I don't think it's gonna have a lot of effect, but let's find out. Starting with the standard primers, just like before. Got the chronograph fixed up, I think, so here we go. 969. 983, 968, 968 again, 970, okay, gonna switch right over to the Magnum primers, Magnum 9 millimeters as I'd like to call them. Nine sixty two, nine sixty, nine fifty one, and nine thirty seven, and nine fifty four on the last one. Okay, once again, not much of a difference, guys. I, huh. Yeah, not much of a difference, which I kind of suspected with that, but let's try the last one. Let's try some 44s. Okay, guys, moving on to the 44 specials out of the 629. It's a 240 grain bullet with H110 powder behind it. And there is a lot more powder in this load than the other loads. So I think if we're gonna see a difference today, it's gonna be in this load. So starting off once again with just the standard large pistol primers, Check the velocity. 873. 813. 908. 775. 877. All right, we're going to load it up with some, uh, some ones loaded with Magnum primers. Be right back. All right, guys, got the 44 specials with Magnum large pistol primers. Like I said, I'm suspecting an increase here. Let's find out. 772. 907. 823, 826, 819, and click. Okay. All right. I mean, once again, not a whole lot. I was suspecting an increase there. I don't think we really got it, though. So, all right, guys, we're going to clean up. Be right back with some conclusions. All right, guys. That's the end of the testing today. Almost no increase on any of those. 
a little disappointing. Sorry if it was kind of boring, but it is a question I wanted the answer to. Uh, I think maybe in wintertime it might make a difference. I don't know. We'll maybe test that when it gets cooler out. I mean, it is blazing hot today. You can probably tell by the sweat. I mean, just blazing hot today. But, uh, yeah, not a, not a whole lot of difference on any of those. And that was a variety of calibers with a variety of powders and bullet weights and, and barrel lengths. I mean, I you know, had a little bit of everything in there, and it just simply did not seem to make a difference. So, uh, interesting. So, yeah, guys, uh, that's it for today. Double Action Stallion, out. Bye.